to the Runner X Podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Welcome back to the Runner X Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Caroline, and I'm here with Coach Valerie. Coach, um, we've been kind of going through a bunch of questions that we uh, have researched and found that are like top questions by runners. And one of the ones that I think is really timely is the benefits of cross training for runners. And of course, we know this being Runner X, which is the prescription to run pain free, is that cross training can help prevent injuries and help with rehabilitation. But some of the other topics that I don't think we get into enough are that it improves your overall fitness and strength. And of course, it helps prevent boredom in your training when you hit <laughs> plateaus. Can we talk about how our strength training, why you why include the movements that we do and, and how that does help with rehabilitation and, and, and overall fitness? Sure. Um, and I'm laughing because you and I talk about this a lot, that almost every training plan that we come across, and I've been doing, I've been writing training plans now for over 20 something years. They always say cross train, right? Yeah. <laughs> like run, cross train, run, cross yeah. train. And I, I <laughs> laugh when I see that now because I'm like, okay, but cross what? What am I doing? What is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> What am I supposed to do? And so, you know, for, for a lot of people, cross training becomes another cardio session. Yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, that, and which it can be, which is fine. You know, but like, I'm just going to say that right out there. But for most people, it's interesting. Like we're telling you to go run and then we're like, now just go do something different. <laughs> Not really right. sure what, right? So with us, we're a little bit more, we're way more specific than that. So Really, what is cross training? Cross training is doing any other activity. I mean, that's the general uh, definition of cross training, other than the sport you're training for. So, for a lot of runners, for cross training, they'll swim or they'll bicycle, uh, generally choosing a non impact activity to balance out the impact because a lot of times too much running can lead to injuries, of course, due to overtraining, overuse, and over impact. So I completely understand why the decision to go to a non-impact sport makes sense. So for us, we and we're, we're happy for you to do any extra cardio you want. Uh, we tend to make our cross training more about strength training. And strength training for running is really about getting someone strong enough to hold their body weight. Because that's really what you're doing when you run, is you are balancing your body weight on one leg and transferring that body weight from from one foot to the other for however long you're going to run. So that that's kind of the first thing to think about why you would want to add strength training. And the fun part is the better you are at one balancing your body weight and two transferring it, the better you're going to be at running. So we give you exercises that simulate that and mimic that. And but they're real simple, and that's kind of the fun. We start with just body weight, and the reason that's important is because we want you to really get comfortable, not just with um, with running, but with strength training and using your body weight for both. So that right. that's kind of where we're, the first step where we're different. And and one of the things that I've noticed that that you and I've all, like even before I met you, I was a, a big proponent of this. Is I kind of would balance my run days. You know, I'd run to run a, a type of running day and then a strength training day, and let that be the focus of that day. I didn't try to like ask my body to go run intervals and then go strength train and and do a lot of movement. But some of the plans that we've developed or, or we work on within the membership, you actually could do both because you are using body weight. You're not going in and lifting bar, barbells or, you know, we're going to pull your, your biceps to exhaustion, all that kind of stuff, you know, that kind well, of stuff, I mean, right? Well, I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. But I'm just saying in well, general okay. as the plan. Well, here's, you here's, know. Well, we kind of have a range though. What, what's, what's really fun for us is, you really got to start with your body weight before you really do anything else. I mean, whether you're going to just run, just run at all uh, or run distance. And then for us, for 
for me anyway, what I, what I want for our runners, what we always talk about is injury prevention and getting yourself to a place where you're strong, you can use your own body weight and you can use muscle elasticity to run any distance you want to run. And that, that's the key. Like that, that's really what you want to do. And, and the best part is body weight, and we, we, we say this all the time, is enough for runners. Most runners do just fine with just doing body weight strength. We do have, and we offer it to our members, uh, we do definitely, we offer um, if they want to add dumbbells or even barbells to their training. Because we do, I do believe in overload if people want to go that route to add more strength work but it's not necessary to become a better runner. That's, that's to me, the best part. Right. So what are some of the, the, the strength you have a few core things that we've talked about many times. If like, if I could do nothing else, I just did one of these four or five different strength movements. Can you talk about why those are important? Like what, what are those? Cause I know that we talk about toe touches. We talk about, um, you don't just do straight planks. You do like a uh, plank pull. All right. Well, so that, right. And, and it's kind of like, you know, you had, you were teasing, I know, but you know, you talk about, you talked about, uh, uh, I don't know. You said something about it, like a bicep curl. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I was just teasing. <laughs> no, I don't know. I know. But most runners, just so you know, they tend to do things like bicep curls because one, it, it kind of mimics the arm swing and running. So we see a lot of runners do bicep curls because that's in their mind going to help them with running. So we always want to think about like what, what looks like it makes sense, right? Well, the reality is that instead of doing a bicep curl, we help people work with exercises that like say a shoulder tap which uses arm muscles, but in a way that's supporting your body weight. Because when you're running and you're actually bending your elbows by your side, you're not really working your bicep muscle, um, because, but it is, it is definitely part of the equation since, the, since right. the arm is bent. So it's not like you don't want to work your biceps, but we try to help you work the whole body. And that's what's important. Instead of separating into body parts, we're going to do things like shoulder taps, and toe taps and glute bridges that make sure you can, one, isolate arms and legs. Second, make sure you're activating the major muscle groups, you know, which we know, of course, the glutes, the hamstrings, all those good muscles. But most importantly, you're working your arms and legs together, which is exactly what you're going to do in running. So we really try to work with that balance and coordination of the movements in your strength that are going to help you with your run. Yeah, that's really important. And, and I don't, I, I never really realized that before until I started working with you is how you make variations to the exercise that they're not just there. I'm going to hold a squat for 30 seconds, right? There's a lot more, you know, there's more to it than just holding up, holding something. It's that, that right. coordination that you don't realize. It's hard to imagine that running is actually a coordinated sport, but it really is. You know, you're, oh, you're yeah. having to balance on one foot guys. <laughs> yeah. And, and so that's one of those things that always, that always, uh, I find humorous or, you know, that I found interesting in getting to know you is, is, is that we, we think, oh yeah, just go out and run. No, <laughs> it's not as, not as, not as easy as you think it would be. And not everybody is graceful at it and looks as beautiful at it as some people. Right. Um, the other question I had for you that I find interesting when I do look at these plans and I've joked with our, with, with our members before is the whole cross training thing is, you know, it, it does, it, it kind of breaks up the monotony and it breaks up the, the plat if you are on a plateau. But what I tell people is if you've never like, I used to live in Phoenix. So if I'd never hiked Camelback, don't do that on your cross training day. You know what I mean? And go, oh, I'm going to go hike camelback or I'm going to go garden and I haven't gardened all year long. What, what always what I find, what I find fascinating is cross training is mixing up the movement, but then what will happen is you go out and you go gardening all day and then you come back and you go and you run and you feel okay. But that second day after the gardening, oh, now my butt hurts or my, my hamstrings are really sore and you go, oh, it must be from the running. No, it was probably well, from the gardening. Can, right, but it can be from, <laughs> right? But it can, and, that, and that's the thing too with cross training is to be careful to not make it your 
So that that's the challenge. If you're training for for a running event, so running is your main main event, right? Then the right. cross training should just be a supplement to your main training. And so it can be whatever you want it to be. And we, like I said, we put in the strength work. And just like you're saying, we didn't put in, here's another whole hour of strength training. Exactly. Because you're not trying to become the strongest person in the world. You're trying to run your next race and not hurt right. yourself. <laughs> and so, but you're right. I mean, the fun part of cross training to me is allowing yourself to get out and do different things. Um, so for most people, I think, and, and this will be kind of last thing on it, but a lot of us, um, unfortunately, we're actually doing already other cross training activities, but maybe not counting it as cross training. So like you're saying gardening, I'm laughing because I just started playing pickleball. And yeah. so if I, if I could say, oh, I'm not really doing anything, I'm just playing pickleball, but I'm <laughs> playing up to five hours a week. So that's yeah. actually five extra hours of activity. So we always tell our runners that just remember all that extra. Um, it, it can be playing time. It can be uh, gardening. It can be housework. It can be whatever. But that actually all does add up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we don't count. We only count the cross training as official cross training, though, if it's like an activity that you're controlling. <laughs> right. Right. Absolutely. So, guys, if you are interested in our plants, if you're interested in our strength training, if you're interested in finding more about how to work with Valerie and, and myself at RunnerX, we would love for you to go to our website site runnerx.fit and click the work with us button um, we have different ways that you can work with us and we would love to have you join our membership um, it's currently open uh, you can basically join anytime leave anytime come in get a gait analysis check out our training plan maybe decide get get a little uh um, inspired to run your next race, whatever that is, whether it's a 5k or a marathon, we even have ultra marathons as well as triathlon plans. So we would love to have you check us out and join us in the membership. Thanks guys. Thank you for joining us on the run RX podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runnerx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runnerx.fit.